Good evening. This video is a meditation that was done on the new moon in September in my private Healing Through Grief group. I've decided to share this publicly because it's a very important meditation and visualization for helping us to connect through and have that experience of pure love. And right at this very moment in time, feeling love for ourselves and for others, for all that is, is really important to help us move out of and away from fear. Fear is something that's going to keep on raising its head for us as, as a species, as, as a community of beings. And it's incredibly important that we learn how to manage that and move away from it, move through it into that place of love. So that's what this video is about. So enjoy the meditation. Take a couple of deep breaths so that you feel present. Feel your, your sitting bones on what you're sitting on. If your feet are on the floor, feel the solidness of the floor to beneath your feet. And let's just take our three breath in and hold and three count to three out three times together. So take a nice deep breath right into your abdomen. Feel your belly button shout as you breathe in. Here we go. On the count of one, breathe in. One. And hold. And release. And as you release, feel your shoulders drop. Feel your energy sinking into your bottom. And do it again. Breathe in for three. And hold for three. Two. Three. And out for three. Just letting everything go. Relax your mind. Let everything in your mind just drop down through your spine and into the ground. And once more, breathe in deeply into your abdomen. And hold for three, two, three. And release, letting all of your thoughts travel down your spine, into your bottom and flowing down into the earth. If you still need a couple more cleansing breaths, take a couple more deep breaths and as you exhale, just allow everything to drop. All your cares, all your worries, everything, just drop it down into your, into the bottom of your spine, let it flow down your legs, into your feet, and out through the soles of your feet and your toes, all of that negative energy, all of that stiffness and tightness in your body, all of your sorrow, your sadness and your pain, your angst, your anxiety, your fear all washed down 
out your toes and the soles of your feet and pulling at your feet. Now underneath your feet, see a vortex opening that draws all of that negative energy in, draws itself and takes it off to somewhere to be transmuted into fertilizer. Our earth loves that energy. It's what makes her grow. That negative energy, all of that crap makes brilliant manure at every level of her being. She gives and we receive and we give back to her and she receives so she can give back. It's a symbiotic relationship. Just as the air we breathe in has been breathed out by the trees. And the air we breathe out is breathed in by the trees. We are a part of a system. And all the parts are needed in this system. Just imagine yourself now as just as a part of this amazing system. And now in your mind's eye, you see a light above your head. It's a beautiful golden white light and it's flowing down towards you. It's coming towards you. And you open the top of your head like a funnel to accept this beautiful light. This light showers down over all of your energy bodies and some of it starts to swirl down the funnel. And as it does, it's cleaning this energy center at the top of your head. It's cleansing it and moving anything on that shouldn't be there that isn't needed, making it vibrate clearer and cleaner. Now see as this light swirls on down to your third eye and feel this light cleansing the center. It's cleansing it swirling out through here cleansing, removing any debris that doesn't belong, energizing it and expanding it to its ideal expansion for you at this time. And then see it as it swirls on down, down filling your skull completely and starts to swirl down your spine and filling your throat. Cleansing your throat of any obstructions, any constrictions, any feelings of not being able to speak your truth, not being able to hear others' truth. This cleansing and expanding this beautiful center, this golden white light is energizing this center in the most, into the most beautiful shade of blue. And now you envisage this light as it continues to swirl down your spine and it reaches your heart center. This beautiful center which is, gives us the connection to every part of ourselves that is not ourself. Every other being on this planet. Sentient. Animate and inanimate. It's this center that connects us to everything. So you see as the light comes in and it's cleansing, it's removing any debris, it's washing out pain. It's cleansing all the pain and sorrow. You see it swirling around and as it swirls, it just has no mercy. It just pulls out everything that is obstructing 
your ability to feel connected to all that is. And as it cleanses it, you feel your heart open. And the heart has been filled with this green and pink light. But although they're together, they stay discreet. Healing and love, self-love. The ability to see yourself as whole as you are. This heart center expands and feels lighter. And you start to feel the sensation of love that is felt for you by source for your own soul. You start to feel how loved you are. How you are held in love. And now you see the light, this beautiful golden white light. It continues to swirl down and it reaches your solar plexus. And here this golden white light is removing, swirling around and cleansing. It's removing anything from this energy center that is blocking your ability to ex express your will in this world. To follow your blueprint. It's removing all the obstructions, all of the negative self-talk. The I'm not enough, I'm not worthy. I can't do this. You feel those just being pulled out and taken away, washed away clean. And a feeling of I can, I will descends upon the space in the center of your being. And you feel this cleansing energy as the center expands until it's at the right expansion for you at this time. And you see this golden white energy from source and it's now the light is swirling down your spine again. And it reaches your sacral chakra, your sacral energy center, your womb space. And here it cleanses out anything that doesn't belong. It's filling it with orange light. The orange light is cleansing, it's cleansing invigorating and energizing the center the center from which all our creativity stems our ingenuity our feeling of being a creator ourselves of creating our own reality When this center is perfectly aligned with the one above the solar plexus, we are able to dream our dreams into being. This is our center of creating our dreams. And we feel it being cleansed out of all the negativity and all of the lack of belief in ourselves all of the energy blocks and you watch these figments filaments being washed out of the center and washed away into the energy bodies which then drop it down into the earth and now you see this beautiful golden white light as it continues to swirl down your spine. And it reaches your root chakra, your root energy center. This red black center 
your grounding center, your place of belonging, your right to be here. And it cleanses out any negative and limit, limiting beliefs from the center. And you see the center and all of these negative beliefs, you see them being washed out. Washed out by this beautiful golden white light, energizing the center, expanding it to the just right for you. Now you can feel at the base of your spine, it feels like it's growing down. It's, it's heading down, it's a taproot now, and it's having the earth beneath you. As it enters the earth beneath you, this energy, golden white light energy, is swirling down through this taproot following it as it pierces through the earth, through the topsoil. And it reaches your earth chakra, your earth center. Here it cleanses out anything that doesn't belong there and energizes the center so that you feel rooted, you feel grounded, you feel one with this planet. And any of the debris that's sitting in here that disconnects you from our planet is being washed away and offered back to the earth. And you see this gold and white light now as it heads on down, as a taproot continues to head down through the layers of clay and the layers of rock. And this taproot is heading all the way down through all the layers down to the very, very center of our planet, where it finds a cool, healing pool of water. And the light from source is following this route down through all these layers. And as it hits the healing waters of the center of the earth, you start to draw up the waters through your route. The energy is still coming down from source, down through all of your centers, down through your spine, down the root. It keeps on pouring down to these healing waters, giving a gentle, soft, golden white light to the center of the earth, to this healing pool here. And you, as you start to draw the water up your taproot, you draw it up through all of the layers of rock in the layer of clay to your earth chakra and this he because these healing waters as they reach your earth chakra they cleanse it out of anything that's left any negativity but also this water now sparks lateral roots that head out laterally above the clay, through the topsoil. These roots reach out laterally. We'll come back to them. Just let them be fed by the waters and the light as we continue drawing the waters up. We draw the water up to our root, center our root chakra, cleansing that again with the waters, energizing it with the water, cooling it. We draw it up into our womb center, cleansing this creative center with the healing waters of the earth. Energizing it, removing anything that's left that need not be there. And we draw these healing waters up again, up into our solar plexus, into our will center. And this cleanses and energizes, the water cleanses and energizes the center and removes anything left. Water has so much power. It is the most powerful force, natural force. And it can cleanse 
with very little force it cleanses. And we draw that water up into our heart center. And in, our, in your heart center, you feel this water as it swirls and removing any last little bits that were dug in and resistant to the light moving them. Cleansing it, energizing with this beautiful cooling water. Filling it with these healing energies. Now you draw it up, you draw the water up to your throat. And here it again enters your throat, swirling and removing any resistant debris. Cleansing it, energizing it, healing. And you now see these centers all spinning perfectly. Filled with their colors. Filled with light and healing waters. And you draw it up and draw the water up into the base of your skull and into your third eye, into your pineal gland, where it cleanses away any last debris, washes the center clean. You see the debris being pulled out from the water by the waters and being washed out of the center as the center starts to feel clean healed and energized. Now you pour this water up, it starts to come up out through the crown, through the top of your head, removing anything that's left that need not be there. Removing any obstructions to connecting with source. And it swirls up from here and it continues up, up, up into your star chakra, your star center cleansing that as well, removing anything that doesn't belong, energizing and expanding it just right to you. And this water continues to rise in the columns, it swirls around this column of light all the way up to source. Now as you sit here, you feel yourself connected you feel yourself like the trunk of the tree. You're connecting all that is above to all that is below. And now we draw our attention back to these lateral roots that we sent out from our earth chakra. And we see them heading off through the soil and as they go, they form a symbiotic relationship with a network that has existed since the beginning of the earth, since it first had fertile soil. This network is a mycelium network. It is what shares information, carries it from one place to another, just like the neurons in our brain and the dendrites that connect them to each other send messages at lightning speed. And you see yourself becoming one with this network of mycelium that lives in the soil, that removes nourishment from the soil and offers it up to all the living things that walk upon this earth that stand rooted in this earth, that live in the earth. And you feel a connection with all things. You feel, as this mycelium network connects us with each other's roots, you feel a connection right there in the earth as we all connect it. Grounding us, connecting us. Now as you draw your attention up, bring your attention back up through your spine, out through the top of your head, the top of your skull, through the crown, and you follow the column. 
you see a light and you start heading towards that light. And as you reach near to that light, you start to see how there's many filaments of light from the light. You see that there's billions of filaments leaving this central sun. And they're interconnecting with others. And you start to see how the light that you are, that rises from you, connects in with all of the others. And as you connect in with this network, this network of light, you become aware, you become aware of each other. Reaching out for each other in this connected, in this space, connecting. Then we reach out further because we know that we are individually connected directly with the source light. But we now see how we are connected to each other and all of the other filaments that come from the sun. It's all interconnected. You start to see this woven web. Not just the humans on this planet, but all of the beings. How the planet herself has filaments that connect with source. how it creates this perfect cycle. And your body is the trunk of this tree that connects what is above to what is below. Now the small self, you feel it slip away. As you become aware of your true self, the self that is eternal, the self that never dies. The self that is encompassing this human body for this period of time while you're wearing shoes. And you feel light, like you have no weight, like you could just float away on the lightest of breezes like a dandelion fairy. And in the space, we ask Viper Light to anchor in our intentions. As we say our prayers, under this new moon, I am grateful for a new start. As I heal and cleanse myself of the past, I grow by a new light that shines upon me. I will stay on this path of growth until I reach my maximum potential. I am certain in my heart that I will arrive there. I am one with all that is. So I trust as above, so below. My bond with Source is a flame that illuminates my heart, regardless of the darkness I may see around me. This bond is the foundation of my inner strength. It allows me to go on 
having faith that all things will fall into divine order for my greatest benefit and the greatest benefit of all beings. I ask the universe for guidance, knowing I will always receive its help and its protection. Today, the sun will rise and shine for me. I am never alone. Today, I find the joy in my heart. I lighten my life by releasing what I no longer need. I align myself with who I am and gently acknowledge who I am not. I am grateful for what I possess and am at peace with what I do not. I appreciate and accept my life as it is. We ask that these intentions be anchored in to our physical bodies. That the memory of this feeling of complete oneness, this lightness, this feeling of absolute connectedness be stored within ourselves of our being of this body so that we may always remember who we really are. Start to pull your energy back. Start to come back from this place. Feeling so expanded, this place of utter expansion. And draw your energy back in. Back all the way in. To your star chakra. And all of the energy that you've sent out through the earth. Draw it back from the center of the earth. Draw it back up until it comes up to your earth chakra. Draw it all back in. Back into your own energy bodies. Just for a moment, sit in this feeling of still feeling expanded into your own energy. Drawing yourself in. Now wriggle your toes, wriggle your fingers, stretch your muscles if you need to, whatever it is you feel you need to do. And when you're ready, open your eyes.